Cold start. <laughs> Some this car is a symbol of success, but to me, it's a symbol of all my failures. Let's talk about why. Hello everybody, welcome back to Mondays with Mover. I'm Mover, C.W. Lemoyne, author of the Spectre series and the Alex Shepard series. Hope you're having a great week so far. I know it's just Monday, so it's just starting, but uh, today's episode... I've gotten a lot of questions about what happens when they say no. You know, we always talk about make them tell you no, which if you're from not if you're new to the channel and not familiar with that, make them tell you no basically means don't self-eliminate. Don't be the person that tells yourself no when it's something you want, especially when we talk about becoming a fighter pilot. A lot of things in general in life and especially in aviation, uh, you'll hear no a lot and some people will self-eliminate and quit before they actually get to the person that can actually make that decision. So we say make them tell you no, meaning don't self-eliminate, don't be your own worst enemy and go out and make that person that's in charge or, or, or that can make the decision tell you no and then more often than not the answer will be yes. But people have asked, what if I fail? What if they say no? And the answer is you're gonna fail. And I think that, you know, for me, that was something that it took me a while to figure out about failure. I never really understood that, but in, in general, the most successful people in the world are the ones that have gone out, put themselves out there, and failed multiple times. You talk to any fighter pilot, they will tell you, oh yeah, I failed here, I failed here, I failed uh, graded rides, I failed check rides, I failed to accomplish my objective. There are gonna be failures along the way, what separates the successful from those that, that just never accomplish anything are what they do when they fail. You know, the successful will go out and learn from what happened, make themselves better, pick themselves back up, and go out and, and strive to do better and, and actually accomplish their goals. You know, as fighter pilots, we debrief every sortie. And before every sortie, we set up what's called uh, the mission objectives. And they're specific, achievable, uh, and measurable. So you take those objectives, you write them on the board, and you say, we're gonna do this, this, and this. And you may have a really good sortie, but still fail to accomplish specific objectives. And even though it was like overall a good sortie, we still come back and we debrief. We go, okay, we failed to accomplish this objective. How are we gonna fix that? So we extract lessons learned. We have debrief focus points. We try to, to pin down what went wrong so we can get better. And that's what actually separates most Western countries from some of the kind of terrible countries like uh, especially some in the Middle East where it's actually a threat to their honor to debrief. So, you know, you'll get princes and those in, in high positions of authority becoming pilots and then they won't debrief and they'll never get better and they'll just say, well, inshallah, and that's it. So that actually is what makes us better. So you'll never really talk to a fighter pilot that's never failed anything. And I didn't really understand that until after pilot training because during pilot training I did really well. I didn't fail a single ride. And so when I got to IFF, Introduction to Fighter Fundamentals, I was very, very paranoid and I had heard that people would washed out and I worked myself up so much that when I finally did fail a ride, I thought that was the end of the world. I was never going to, to get past it and I blemished my perfect record, which is really not true because you need to fail. In weapon school is just part of the program. They use busted rides, is what they call it, or failures, to give you more time, to give you the ability to go out and practice something that you may not be familiar with. So it's absolutely something that's that's worthwhile and, and good to help you get better. So when, when we talk about failures, yeah, you're gonna fail. And you know, if you think about it in history, you know, if the Wright brothers, how many times did they fail before they finally got airborne? If they'd have just given up immediately, well, where would we be today in aviation? The, the, our space program, the many times we've had failures, uh, you know, killing astronauts on the, on the launch pad, uh, which was very tragic, but stuff like that has allowed us to learn and get better and become uh, more successful as a country, more successful in general. All, all of our failures have led to successes and that's what you have to realize is that you're gonna fail, 
but that's okay. That's part of the process. You can't worry about those failures. You know, I on the Make Them Tell You No Facebook group, I often get a lot of questions about washout rates and, well, what if this happens? Well, what if that happens? You can't, what if? All you can do is make yourself as competitive as possible. So put yourself in the best position you absolutely can. Work hard, study hard, get good grades, do everything you can. And then when you do fail, don't dwell on it. Just learn from it, move on to the next thing, and you take whatever lessons learned you can to make yourself better so it doesn't happen again. It's okay to fail. What's not okay is making the same mistakes over and over again and never learning from them. That's where you end up staying down and you don't accomplish what you're what you set out for. So that's really the difference. But you know, I, I just wanted to point that out because you know I was talking to Gonky the other day, and you know we've had many pilots on the channel, and every one of them's got some kind of failure story where they have screwed up or something has happened. And the difference between what they've done and what others might have done is they have learned from it, picked themselves back up, and made something out of it to where that they can, and sometimes you can even teach people uh, from it. Uh, for example, in a fighter squadron, it's called fratricide when you accidentally kill, in training obviously, blue on blue. So you shoot, like I've shot down my flight lead by accident. And you have to go out in front of the squadron during a squadron meeting and you have to stand in front of your fellow fighter pilots and you tell the story and you brief and you apologize and usually involves buying a keg uh, for the squadron bar but you do that so that we can all learn from it we can all get better and that's how you become a better person in general is by accepting the fact that failure is going to happen not being okay with it we're never going to be okay with it but to say failure is not an option is just wrong it is an option and if it does happen we're going to learn from it we're going to get better from it and we're going to move on so i know it's a short mondays with mover but i just wanted to uh, put that out there and uh, hope that gives you some level of motivation for 2020 that it is in fact okay to fail just don't dwell on it allow it to happen get better from it and move on. So hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Excuse me. Oh, no. Oh! About a lot of that. Usually fine with the doors off. All hot too. Don't be a douche. Rule number one. Make them tell you now.